Hello guys and welcome to Freebird Two and welcome to 75 Day Hard Generative AI Learning Challenge. This is day 71, and in this video, I will tell you how you can evaluate large language models. Because without evaluations, large language models are nothing but a bunch of things that generate the something. Okay, so why you require the large language evaluation framework for your large language models or like in your own organization as well? Okay, so let's just say. If you have a large language model and it generates a very poor response that can have bias, that can have racism as well, provide that response to the customer, the customer will be very, very, very angry. Okay, so that will drop your business revenue and also your customer satisfaction as well. Okay, but, but if you have a large language model along with the evaluation framework and you generate a very good response that you provide to the user that makes the customer happy. Okay, so that will help you to increase the business revenue and also the customer satisfaction as well. Okay, so let's just take an example of it that uh, uh, you take a large language model, you generate a text from the large language model. So that text should be grammatically correct. Okay, so if that text should not be grammatically correct, then that's the first red flag. Okay, so let's just say you generate the gra grammatically correct sentence, but that sentence has no diversity. It has racism as well. Okay, so then it's of no use again. Okay, and let's just say you generate a text that has grammar, that has diversity, but it has no useful information. Okay, so then it's also a big, big red flag. So you need to be taken care of all those things while evaluating the large language model that your trained or fine-tuned large language model should generate those kind of responses that, that are grammatically correct, diverse and have useful information as well. Okay, so when you are like building this large language model framework, you build it from the input, output and the rack kind of thing. So whenever you generate output, so you pass that output to your large language model evaluation framework that framework will generate a kind of a score and based on that score you set the threshold on that score and if that score is more than the threshold you pass that generated output else you mark it as fail so in that way you completely build your evaluation framework on the base of the score generated by your large language model evaluation framework okay so now now like uh, what kind of matrices that we use to evaluate these kind of large language models. So matrices like uh, perplexity, BLEU score, cross entropy loss or rogue score uh, and uh, along with the open AI evaluation framework that is already there in the market as well. You can use that as well. And there is also a very interesting research paper that is called holistic evaluation of language models. And it is the most advanced uh, evaluation framework uh, research paper is there. And in our like last four videos of day 72 to day uh, 75, I explain about all about the holistic evaluation of large language model framework in detail as well. Okay, so now, so now the question comes that how you do the large language model evaluation because you don't do the large language model evaluation based on their outputs, right? Outputs can be in many, many different forms, but they are also correct as well. Okay, so Let's just take an example here that if I say that I am going to school tomorrow and someone will say I am going to school on 28th of April 2024. So that two sentences generated on the same time has no difference at all. Okay. But if you try to evaluate your model on the basis of the text outputs, your uh, evaluation fr uh, framework will sh surely say that uh, these two outputs are completely different, but they are not. Okay, so when you are trying to uh, evaluate your large language model, do not evaluate it on the next word prediction. You evaluate it on the task specific evaluations. Okay, and on the while we are like uh, e evaluating our large language model on the task specific evaluations, there are like certain ways. The first way is called co qualitative evaluation. So score a large language model re uh, response using the various criteria that are important to the specific task okay as we uh, see in our this slide we are using a scorer here okay so that scorer will help you to score the large language uh, model response as well 
दैट हेल्प यू टू जनरेट अ गुड रिस्पॉन्स बेस्ड ऑन दीज काइंड ऑफ क्राइटेरियाज द लाइक कोरेंस बायस क्रिएटिविटी रिलायबिलिटी टॉक्सिसिजम एंड रिसिजम एज वेल सो यू कैन गिव अ स्कोर ऑन दीज काइंड ऑफ इवेल्युएशन बेसिस ओके सो इफ यू आर लाइक जनरेटिंग अ स्टोरी और जनरेटिंग अ नॉवल फ्रॉम द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल यू डू नॉट इवेल्युएट इट फ्रॉम द नेक्स्ट वर्ड प्रोडिक्शन यू इवेल्युएट इट फॉर द क्रिएटिवनेस एंड द फ्री फ्रॉम एनी काइंड ऑफ बायस और एनी काइंड ऑफ प्लेगरिज्म एज वेल राइट ओके ओके सो अवर नेक्स्ट वे इज कॉल फाउंडेशनल मॉडल इवेल्युएशन सो वी कैन एक्सपर्टाइट द इवेल्युएशन प्रोसेस बाय लेवरेजिंग द फाउंडेशन मॉडल विद क्लेवर प्रॉम्प्टिंग टू प्रोग्रामेटिकली स्कोर द लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल आंसर्स बाय यू यूजिंग द प्री डिफाइंड क्राइटेरिया सो इफ यू हैव योर ओन फाउंडेशन मॉडल विद यू यू कैन आस्क दैट फाउंडेशन मॉडल टू लेबल योर डेटा एंड वेन यू ट्रेन योर लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर डेटा यू कैन इवेल्युएट दोज generated uh, response by the labels that that are like marked by the foundation models so in that way you can evaluate your own uh, language model with the help of foundation language model as well okay and there are like multiple ways you can like uh, uh, do this kind of uh, evaluations as well the first is i already told you that holistic evaluation of large language models you can also do the hugging face uh, evaluation as well along with the auto eval functions as well so in our next uh, uh, video i will tell you how you can like evaluate your large language model with the help of evaluate library from the hugging face this library with a like single line of code it can evaluate your multiple large language model responses for different different domain as well okay so just be with it and if you want to know more about prom hunt engineering data science and machine learning you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blog on medium then meet in our next video thank guys thank you so much